this video will show you how I've been able to make up to $13,000 on my last AdSense payout and currently I have a balance of around $700 plus you can see it here this is a live page this is live Google AdSense so I will show you how you do this from start so the first thing you need to do is to download OKEKBOT this is a software that will generate traffic to your YouTube account so if you visit OKEKBOT.com this is the website and download for Windows now when you download this you can have it done on your computer or you could use a server so you can see right here I have a proxy server I say proxy a VPS server I'm gonna refresh this server is from paper space so paper space basically is just um, a VPS company there are lots of them if you head over to Google and type VPS company there are lots of VPS companies you can buy VPS from um, but I don't recommend any of them the company I recommend is paper space and this is why paper space is as fast as anything and it gives you computers quick like for instance if I create on create machine on create machine I can just choose a Windows 10 and once I choose a Windows 10 I can select the kind of machine I want so I'll click on CPU and I will choose between whatever machine I, I want so this is like a 4 gig computer 8 gig computer 17 gig computer 32 gig computer 64 gig computer you get the check now on this video tutorial I will show you how to use OKBOT on a VPS so I have a couple of VPS set up this one is one of them this is VPS for YouTube now if I click on this VPS you can see the configuration this VPS is a 32 gig RAM VPS 32 gig and it has like a CPU of um, 12 it has a 12 CPU like um, 12 CPU 32 gig RAM now I'll click on open desktop the moment I could click on open desktop it will open up this um, computer directly on my Google Chrome now I'm already on OKBot okay and I've also downloaded the OKBot okay software this is OKBot.com okay on this VPS, this is another computer. As a matter of fact, I'm actually using a Mac. This is a Mac. I'm re recording part of my screen, and I'm currently um, accessing a Windows computer through Paper Space um, VPS. So this is a computer somewhere on the internet that I'm currently having access to just by using um, a VPS from Paper Space. Okay, so right now I have already installed this software. If I head over to the downloads. You would see I've installed, uh, sorry, I've downloaded rather, I've downloaded the OKEG bot. I downloaded it not too long ago from here. So I would install the OKEG bot now. Now, if you're watching this for the first time, I want to be able to make as much as I make on my own Google AdSense account. You can see it here. I've been able to make over $13,000 for last month. Follow this video to the end because I'll be describing every single thing it takes to make this work for you. So back again, I've already installed the OKEG bot. Let's I've already downloaded the OKEG bot rather. Let's go install it. So I'm gonna click on downloads and I'm gonna click on OKEGBOT.exe. Now when you try installing the software, it should show you something like this, a pop-up telling you you should accept um, terms and conditions. Please go through this as this is a license from our company, OKEG bot. And when you're done, click on I accept the agreements and click on next. Now it will ask you where you would want it to install this OK bot. It's advisable to install this on your desktop. So I'll head over here, I'll click on users. On users, I'll click on public. And on public, I'll click on desktop. So you can see me clicked on users from users. I clicked on public from public. I click on desktop. Now if it if this is a computer you can install it anywhere but make sure you install it on your desktop because I presume some computers may not have the same hierarchy. So I'll click OK. Now you can clearly see that I am installing this software onto my desktop. You can see the desktop over here. Now go to Next. Now click on Create Shortcut and I'll go to Next. Now Next again. Now within a few minutes, the OKBot okay software will be installed onto my desktop. It will take um, a minimum of at least 5 to 10 minutes. But since this is a 2 gig computer, it's going to be as fast as anything. installing now just to let you know that the ok bot is the first thing you need the second thing you need is a VPS and the third thing you need is a process server so on my second screen right here I have a process server from WebShare I do not actually recommend this process server why because I mean if there's anything I've actually understood from WebShare in recent times is that there are lots of people using their services now we're using WebShare before now but WebShare has been giving us lots of issues but I would recommend a couple of um, um, 
alternatives such as smart processing. Smart processing in recent time has been doing very well, but rather than use um, any processing at all, I will show you how to use NordVPN and it's not really like a straightforward stuff because NordVPN no longer sells Prozzy. In fact, NordVPN discontinued Prozzy. So at the moment, you can't get a Prozzy server from um, you can't get the Prozzy server from NordVPN. They actually stopped the whole thing. We are this. This is where they said they stopped it. But I will show you how to use a um, VPN like NordVPN on. Okay, but so why should you use a VPN instead of a process server? So firstly, the whole money I made on YouTube was made because I was able to watch my videos and interact with the advertisements. Now, if you had paid attention, this other um, companies, which is this proxy companies, they basically charge you based on your um, data bandwidth. So for instance, if you're using a high data bandwidth, let's click on upgrade. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's say for instance I want to purchase for a prosy right here on WebShare. WebShare charges me like for 100 prosies, 250 gig per month. I get to pay like $3. This is $3. Now, the real fact is a huge number of their prosies are already banned. Like most of their prosies have already been blacklisted and they don't get to change it. So that means they have a process that is bad, but for whatever reason they don't even have you know the efforts to remove it from their database so people keep on using processes that have already been blacklisted and instead of making money the way I make instead they actually just get banned so I will show you how to use NordVPN on your OKEG bot instead of um, getting to use any of these VPS that charges you per gig like this per gig they charge you means if you have to watch more videos on your YouTube it means you have to pay more why a VPN like NordVPN you just have to pay like a fixed price of about um, let's do the comparison for instance if I'm paying this for if I'm paying if I'm going if I'm going to be using NordVPN I get to pay less than five dollars a month and it's unlimited this means I can actually do unlimited however when it comes to um, um, when it comes to any other process service they basically give you a cap that once you get to that cap your um, bandwidth get exhausted and you'll be inactive so now let's head back to the OKEG bot. We've installed OKEG bot and we're going to launch it. The moment you install and launch OKEG bot, you are expected to put in your API key. If you don't have an API key, you can simply get one by registering on the website. But I'll show you how this works in no time. So OKEG bot has actually opened and I've downloaded it like you see, downloaded it from the website after downloading here. I installed it. So now I've installed it, it is you know giving me this interface. All I have to do right now is to nest it up and log in with my API key. Now I already have an API key, so I'll just quickly put in my API key over here and I'll click on authenticate API key. Now your API key on OKEGBOT is basically your unique password. Your advice not to share this key with anybody. This key contains every single thing you have, such as your bots, the process servers you have, or the login details to the VPN you use. So it is advisable you keep it to yourself. With your API key, you'll be able to log into any VPS and have your bots running on that computer. For instance, I already have lots of computers, which is VPS currently running and sending bots traffic to my various YouTube channel. But I just created this new um, VPS right now. And just by downloading OKEG bot, installing it and putting in my API key, soon as I'll start having access to all my bots and I'll also be able to start deploying traffic. So now, why you should actually keep this to yourself heavily more, it's because there's what we call cookie abuse. Each of your bots that visit a website or visit a YouTube channel, a cookie is being stored on this bot, and this bot stores this cookie on our database. So when you give people your API key and they misuse it, it would make it easy for you to get banned. Because while you're driving traffic to one YouTube, these people might be driving traffic to some other YouTube making it very difficult for the cookies to be managed and what this actually ends up doing is getting your account being flagged as a bot so in a nutshell your API key should be kept you know with great um, confidentiality I can currently see it's not launching and I just forgot I remembered now we ought to have run this as an administrator so you have to run the bot as an administrator otherwise it would not um, be able to log you in so I just run it as an administrator and I'm going to come back again and log in. So this time around I should have success because I ran it as an administrator. 
I put in my API key again. You can see I was able to log in as fast as possible. Um, you already captured my API key. I'm going to change this after now. But if you don't know how to change yours, this is how to change your API key. So when you head over to OKBot, I would um, maximize the screen. When you head over to OKBot, click on accounts. When you click on account, sign in into your account. I'm going to be signing into my OKBot account using my email, okek at gmail.com and I'm going to put in my password and I'll click I am not a robot and I will log in now the moment I log into my OKEKBOT OK account you can see this is my API key it's called an OKEK OK Smart I can click on change settings and I can change this to Daniel OKEK OK 123 or whatever I feel like and I'll click update API key now I've changed my API key to Daniel OKEK OK 123 now this simply means that this will no longer work and it will give us issues if we try to do anything. In fact, if I refresh this page right now, it might um, never work, which means it might never give us anything because the API key has been changed. So I just refreshed, it's, it's, it will just likely stay here forever because that API key is incorrect. However, if I open up the software again, which is by running it as an administrator, and login with Daniel Cake 123, which is the new API key I have changed to, I would be able to get success. So, next, now I'm going to put it here Daniel Cake 123. Now you can see that I've been able to log in with my own new API key. So, let's start teaching you how to actually make a whole lot of money from Google because I know this is why you're here. You're here to learn how I've been able to make over thirteen thousand dollars from Google AdSense. So watch this video today. Last. Now the first thing to do is to do what we we'll call to create a chain. A chain is basically what you want this bot to do. A bot could do a whole lot of things, but you have to program what you want the bot to do. Now there are lots of tools on OKEK bots. We have a browser too. These two basically visit the website, like you can see over here. The tool has just one task. The task is to visit the website. We have another tool like the Google Tools. Google Tools has lots of tags like the Google Search, the Google AI Search, which is where you get to put a prompt and then the bot would use ChatGPT to generate something you know it's going to search for on Google. We have the SEO Boost. This is where if you want to rank more on Google, you could like search for a keyword you rank on, but then put in your own website link so when a bot searches for it on Google, it would go through the search result and click only on your own link. Now we also have the advertisement clicker. This is where you just put in a website that is being powered by Google AdSense. Um, like the bot doesn't just work for YouTube, it also works for a Google AdSense website. And then once you put in the website, you go to your secondary action and you describe the kind of advertisement you want to click. For instance, um, when different people visit your website, they get to see different things. So what they get to see depends on the profile Google has of them. If I'm somebody who makes more search around tech-related stuff and I visit your website, I will likely see Google AdSense around tech-related stuff. And if I'm somebody who really does more fashion or anything unrelated to tech, I will see advertisement that pleases my own personality. So Google knows what to show people based on their search history, what they watch on YouTube, and so many other things. And so you can actually describe what kind of advertisement you would want a bot to click on. So if the bot visits a website which is your own website or whatever channel, if the advert they see it's not what you describe here it's it's not going to click on it so this is the easiest way to actually set your bot to click on only high cpc advertisements or react to only advertisements with very high cpc now you can take out your time to describe exactly what kind of advertisement you want this is being powered by open ai gpt4 so it's very smart enough to be able to know exactly what kind of advertisement you had described and only click on those advertisements we we'll also have more tools like the YouTube tools. This is where you would actually start get, getting to pay a whole lot of attention because this is where you can actually start making money from YouTube. Every other tool has actually been for a website. For instance, um, the Google tools was for websites. The browser tool was for websites. But the YouTube tool is specifically for YouTube. And I'm going to describe exactly how you should use this tool to build up your Google AdSense. So before I proceed, I would like us to make a proper note on this. I'm going to open up a noting app. This is just so I can actually show you um, what you should be keeping up in mind in order to get this working. So hold on while I search for 
an online notes pad and use this online notes pad to give you exactly what you would need so firstly you know how to earn money from Google AdSense like I've been saying for the past few minutes you need a couple of things the first one is a VPS a VPS is a computer on the internet that you can access remotely for instance I'm currently using a Mac like I told you this is a Mac but on this my Mac I currently have paper space and I've created a VPS with 32 gig Windows 10 and so I'm currently accessing this computer from my own computer okay now the next thing we need is a prosy and after a prosy we need the OKEK bot software and now we have these three things on the next episode I will show you how to start combining them to increase your Google AdSense earnings to make as much as I do